First item is to approve the minute from the previous meeting. I I read through them. I didn't see any issues. Did anybody else? No. No. I move that we accept. Except from the previous meeting. I guess I have to say that. Okay. And since we're doing this, someone Zoom will do a roll call vote. That be appropriate. Yep. And I'll second. Okay, we have a motion made and second to accept the minutes. Uh, roll call. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Betty? Aye. And Tom? I can't vote. because I'm... Oh, that's right. Tom wasn't here and I vote yes. Okay. That passes. Moving on to the next item on the agenda is to review and discuss the wages and salaries which is pretty much the nuts and bolts why we're here tonight. I can share my screen if you want. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Um, so this is showing the, the results of the wage salary survey with the, with the actual data hidden. If we want to look at it, we can, but it was just easier to follow across, I thought, um, to see which positions we might want to talk about. Um, so the ones that are highlighted in green here are the ones that showed up as 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 um, less than the median. Um, so the first one, I, how do we want to talk about these? Um, do we want to do one at a time and then? Um, I think that's how we've done it in the past. So the first one that shows up is it was treasure collector. Um Waitley pays this, so this is FY23. Waitley pays 2936. The median showed to be um 3014. Mm -hmm. Um this is one that I think we have pretty good um pretty good comparison data on. Yeah. And yeah, and we'll suit me moving from a more a very experienced person to a less experienced person. I don't know if we take that into account, but um, I'm not sure that we really have in the past. So that would sort of be breaking from um, breaking from past practice. Yeah, uh, and I mean, just anecdotally, the but we've had this conversation before about filling the treasurer collector position, and yeah, I I think eventually we're going to see this 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 pay rate go up, um, at some point in time as as sort of yeah. competition heats up for the limited, you know, people we have for this role. But yeah, that's where we are right today. Well, do we do anything with it now or do we wait and see what we're going to have to, we, this may be a new point. We may say, you know, we have to pay this person more. more. Do we, is it a question we should, dis, is it, should we discuss in the aspect of like how many applications we've gotten or is that appropriate to discuss here or should, I mean, it, but I guess what I'm saying is if we had 10 or 15 applications, which I know we don't, but I'm just saying if we had that kind of number, then you know that people are, but we don't. So yeah, Tom, you're right that we, we're probably gonna have to ante up some more money in the near future. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we don't know for sure yet. So, I make a motion we leave that one as it is for now and wait and see what we come up with for uh, candidates and what the what we think they're going to need to get paid or what the town thinks. When is that job closed? It did close. It did already. I believe, right, Brian? Yeah. Very few. We have very few uh, 
application candidates. Yeah, and that's that's not a Whitley problem. That's a municipal problem. I think that makes sense because the the market in this case may have to dictate because we want a qualified person not to be tied to a number. Yeah. But could we, at least for the purposes of, you know, you know, in the absence of anything else, we would certainly recommend that it go up uh, 2.66%. Uh, and it may have to go up more, um, but uh, I, I, I mean, I would not have, if we weren't in the, in the process of trying to find a new person for this, I wouldn't have any problems saying, yeah, let's raise that by 78% or 78 cents, right? Um, and, and bring our excellent treasurer collector up to the median. I mean, I don't see any reason why we would want to pay below median, so. Well, we have a we have a motion that hasn't been seconded, so I would second that motion. And, and that motion was to leave it as it is. Leave it as it is for now. Is that what you're agreeing to, Susan? Yeah, and it's not that I'm saying that that's the final answer, but I think at this point it's just an academic exercise. Mm -hmm. If we adjust it. I mean, I agree with what Joyce is saying that in the real world, we don't want to raise it tremendously by any means, but I don't know that we can pick a number right now. Mm -hmm. Honestly, we have bigger yeah. problems. We have we to revisit it no matter what. It, yeah, yeah, I think know. that's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Right. Okay. We have a motion made in second. Is any other discussion? If not, I'll put it to a vote. Roll call. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Betty? Aye. Tom? Aye. And myself? Aye. Okay, on to the next one. So the next one's assistant treasure collector, but we only have one comparison point here, so that makes it a little bit difficult. Um. You know, to, to see yeah. what's. How can you quickly go back to 22? How were we last year? And just out of curiosity, are we getting further behind or is that, was it? Well, we had more oh. comparison points, it looks like. Looks like we had two. Well, I can't see that's hidden. Right. Okay. So the we had two points and the lower of the two, it, I guess they no longer have an assistant. Yeah. Well, my feeling is it being the fact that even we only have one at almost 5% below, it should. How many hours is that at the moment? A week? Um, I'd have to I'd have to double check. Um, it could be ten. Okay, so it's not a huge. No, if if we bring that up to the the median, it's not a big impact financially. Yeah, that, that's true. And for for what it's worth, it's it's if I was reading the tea leaves, it's likely that our current assistant treasure collector is interested in working on that position to help train the other person, um, you know, to train the new person. So um we're going to get a pretty experienced assistant treasure collector. Yeah. Um, but I don't know if that's a good reason to well, keep it that high or not. It, in my mind, it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. So 
So we want to make a motion. I make a motion to raise it to 2636, which is the that's with the dollar and 14 cent increase. I'll second that. Okay, I have a motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? If not, I'll put it to a roll call. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Betty? Aye. Tom? Aye. And myself, aye. On to the next one. Librarian. Librarian. Am I going for a jump away? I think it's no, a I, assistant. Assistant? Yeah, I'm sorry. Blindness and something. Ass, assistant, yes. Assistance. Assist. No, the assistant, they're, they're 4% above. They're above. We're just doing the ones that are okay. above. So. Right. So, right, librarian. Librarian is at 6.2% below. Yep. And we have a good cross section of. Yeah, this one this one was interesting because we there was a pay raise for uh, fiscal year twenty three. Yep. Um, that the and this is this is a decision of the oh geez my camera's doing it again. <laughs> um, <laughs> I just won't look at you. Just keep no. talking. <laughs> keep talking, Brian. It's in the dark. Uh, does this audio come out too? Uh, it, I hope it's working. Yeah, yeah. Working. yeah we hear you. All right. Um, yeah, there were the live, the trustees, you know, this is a recommendation that we send to the trustees usually. Um, we don't necessarily vote on it, but I mean, it is what it is, I guess, and we could send them the recommendation in the, in the salary survey. Um, but there was a, you know, there was an increase this fiscal year as well. Um, but the median, you know, the median actual, I think, increased from like 24, whatever it was, 24 something. This is, it was 2468 to 26 something now. So, um, yeah, so it increased from 2468 to 2637 based yeah. on our survey. So, yeah. yeah. So, we want to recommend to the library trustees that they raise the, the rate of pay, or do we, is that how we work it? I, yeah, usually that's what we do. We, we send them the salary information. We say, we think it looks like you should raise that, but we don't decide. You do. But here's our recommendation. And they, she got well. Whoever it is got a. They got a pay increase or a uh, adjustment last year. Yes. Yep. Yes. Yep. But even with that adjustment, plus the cola that she received, it's still at six percent below. Right. And so that tells us that. Other towns are and more are realizing that yeah. they were. I make a motion. We recommend to the library trustees that the new pay rate should be twenty six thirty seven. Second that. Okay, I have a motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? No. Okay. Roll call vote. Susan. Yes. Choice. Yes. Tom. Yes. Betty. Yes. And myself. Yes. That passes. On to the next one. Operator labor. Operator labor. Yeah. So this is the one that we we struggle with every year because not everybody has. Everybody has different classifications, as, as Keith has talked to us about. Um, you know, we have a senior operator laborer. We have operator laborer three plus years. We have operator laborer one to three years. Um, so these are are a little bit difficult to, to find exact comparisons. Um, um, 
Keith, what year was it last year that we did last the adjustments? Year, I we there was an adjustments to the to the bottom to the lowest one and the three years. Um and the basically at that time it was done because of they even though they may not have been really below the median last year, the issue that I presented is that it's getting harder and harder for towns and it's it's like some of the towns it's it's become like a swing swinging door where employees are jumping around from one town to the next. We, there's really not a lot of applicants to work from. Having to get somebody to have a CDL license subject to drug and alcohol testing and also having hoisting licenses requirements, it, it it's just not, there's not a big pool of people to work from like we could get 10 or 15 years ago. And so the case I presented last year was to was to bring them up. Now again, the 2396 is the um, is the lowest one. Yeah. And it is still 2% roughly under. Um, I certainly that in my knowing that you know that what other towns keep doing and at, you know a lot of times when I talk to other Iowa superintendents they ask me do you even have a full crew? A lot of towns can't even get a full crew anymore because they just aren't people applying. They can make so much more money in a lot of cases going to work for the private sector, working for um, you know getting union. Or um, prevailing wages and things like that. That um, <clears throat> you know, I feel that we should keep that position at the the median actual. Yeah. All right. I make a motion. We raise it to forty six cents. Which Second. Is Brings that close to $25 an hour. I think that's 2442. Yep. Right. It's on the list there. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Joyce, um, did you see second um, in? I thought we had a second. I did. I, I thought it. though, if this is a highly competitive position, do we want to be at the median or in this case? Do we want to lead the median a little bit no, you won't see it. to have an advantage over other communities? Um, I to start somewhere. You know, I feel at the moment if we stay at the median, it's it's better than leaving it at two percent under. Oh, I agree. I'm not saying that we leave it there. I'm just wondering if, I don't know, in this case, we should, I don't know, I don't know what I would do with that. Because it sounds like we're never going to compete with private. You right? never run. No, you're right. But however, I mean, we're going to find out that when we compare all of the municipal positions, it's it's not... In my mind, municipal workers are harder and harder to come by compared to years ago. Um, people, when I started years ago, were lining up and you could literally have lots of applications. Now, it doesn't matter what position you advertise anymore. We don't get anywhere near the amount of applicants you did. So. That, Susan, that could be said about every position. Okay, never mind then. I, we do have a motion sec made and seconded to do the 1.92%, which is 2442. Any other discussion? If not, a roll call vote. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. 
Betty. Aye. Tom. Aye. And myself, aye. Uh, Keith, I have a I have a quick follow up question. Okay. Um. So the the twenty three ninety six is the. I mean, do we want to add? Uh, do we want to add the forty six cents to each one so you ha so you keep your. If, so you keep your 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 scale. The only thing that, at the very least, the the that ratio should stay roughly the same between the entry level and the three year plus. Okay. All right. All right. There's, okay, go ahead. So moving on to the fire chief at point four three below. I mean, I'm I'm somewhat involved in the aspect of yeah. knowing where things are with the new chief. Going to be, uh, I feel. That should maybe be, a, although if we if we have to make an adjustment and there's no nothing been done budgeted, could you want to wait and maybe address that at a special town meeting or how would? What are your thoughts on that, Brian? If 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 the new to if to get a new chief that we need to have more money. Um, I, I feel like we should almost treat it the same as we did treasure collector. It seems like to be consistent. Kind of table it for now and see what happens. Yeah. Right. It seems that we should be consistent with those two because they're really in the same position. Mm -hmm. yeah. Agreed. All right. I make a motion. We table the fire chief one. Second. Firefighters almost. We got a bowl yeah. on it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm jumping ahead. All right. So, did I have a second on that? Yep. Okay. A motion made and seconded to the table, the fire chief. Any other discussion? Okay. Roll call vote. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Betty? Aye. Tom? Aye. And myself? Aye. Now we can jump on to the firefighter at almost 10% low average. Yep. And so the one, I, I didn't know how to deal with it. The one, Shelburne was the sort of the anomaly, right? At $7.98. Um, that's not included in the calculation. I didn't really know what to do with it. I can include it now and we can see what it shows up as, but it's. Yeah. I don't even know how that can be there if you're not. That's that's illegal to pay below minimum wage. Yeah, Isn't she yeah. Full time department. That's probably seventeen. I don't know if you got a turn, but my guess was it was seventeen ninety eight. But maybe when they sent it to me, it's a typo. Typo. Well, but it's it's listed in the FERCOG survey as seven ninety eight also. Yeah. Wow. That's so that's, I didn't want to like oh my gosh. I mean it's it's like being a volunteer. Yeah. 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 But I mean, we sort of, you know, you can't pay below minimum wage. No, it's right. I think we I think we drop it. I think that's you what we pay the school uniforms. committee. Pardon? That's what we pay the select board and the school committee is seven dollars and ninety-eight cents an hour. <laughs> Is it that much? Fred's holding out on me. <laughs> All right, I make a motion we raise it to firefighter salary to 1975. I'll second that. Okay, I have a motion made and seconded to raise to 1975. Any other discussion? If not, a roll call vote. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Betty? Aye. Tom? Aye. And myself? Aye. That one passes unanimous. 
Next one, police chief at 1.23 below. So this is this is one of the positions that's um, an employment agreement between the select board and the police chief. Um, yep. So we can forward the information along to the select board. Yep. To the select board, yeah. Okay. I make a motion we forward the information to the select board. Second. Okay, I have a motion made and seconded to forward the information um, to the select board. Any other discussion? If not, a roll call vote. Susan. Aye. Joyce. Aye. Betty. Aye. Tom. Aye. And myself. Aye. Passes unanimous. On to part time police at about a half percent below. 10, ten cents. I don't. I don't know that we need to worry about that. I don't think we, I think we passed that one. Okay. And I move that we leave that one as is. Yeah. The only comment I sh I feel like should make is that under police reform, getting part-time police officers is going to continue to get harder and harder. But at the same point in time, I'm not going to argue over 10 cents, mm -hmm. but just a statement that I wanted to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and I think that becomes a bigger discussion. Yeah, it, okay. we're not we're not going to solve it with ten cents, right? So do I want to? Anyone want to have a motion and I make a motion? We leave it the same. Second, no second that. Okay, I have a motion made and seconded to leave the part-time police alone. Any other discussion? Hearing none, roll call vote. Susan. Aye. Joyce. Aye. Betty. Aye. Tom. Aye. And myself, aye. That passes unanimous. Next one, water superintendent. We deal with this one the same every year. There's, there's only a, yep. a couple to work from. Um, not to pass the buck, but I think we make a motion, or I'm going to make a motion that we send this information to the water commissioners. Um, I'm not, I don't know that that's, I mean, do the water commissioners don't set the water superintendent's salary the way the library trustees set the library salary is that am i not right about that i don't know um i i believe they do yeah oh, the water right. commissioners do yes sorry yep. i did not know that yeah they have full control over the water system okay and the employees okay Oh, then I'll second Tommy's motion. Okay, I have a motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? If not, a roll call vote. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Betty? Aye. Tom? Aye. And myself? Aye. Passes unanimous to send that on to the water commissioners. Next one, transfer station, a note for board clerk, clerk for the zoning and planning at minus 2.96. I make a motion we raise the salary to 1947. Second that. Okay, I have a motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? Hmm. Hearing none, a roll call vote. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Betty? Aye. Tom? Aye. And myself? Aye. The custodian at uh, Penny? We leave that one alone. Leave that alone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
The only other thing I wanted to bring up um, in regards to my position last year, it was voted to um, keep it at, because of the um, building superintendent, it was voted to keep it at 8% above the median actual. And so while it doesn't show up as a blow, that's mm -hmm. how I interpret the, the motion that Joyce made from last year. Mm -hmm. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. I was trying to remember what the percentage was. Because <laughs> uh, even though on this chart it looks high, I couldn't remember what percentage we're actually comparing to. Brian, can you scroll slightly to the right? It's cutting off for me. Yeah, yeah me too. Thank you. Yeah, so we're only at 5% now. And we had discussed making that eight. Okay. Well, if I pull out another spreadsheet or a little calculator, <laughs> yeah, I can, I can figure out. Um, oh man, what happened? Oh, there it is. There's the calculator. Okay. Let's see if you and I get the same number. That would um, be impressive. Yeah, I, well, each time I hit the calculator, it it hides the spreadsheet. So I think you're going to beat me. But, I will try here. So I'm getting eight okay. percent of the median. I'm getting at fifty-eight ninety-two. Yeah. Sorry, the the numbers at the end are cut off again for me. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I don't. I, th I should have this uh, this document. I should just open it up myself. So that would be an additional $1,949.87 beyond the 3942 difference. Or putting it the other putting it the other way, 7365 times 1.08. If we do the 8%, the base becomes 79542. I want somebody to check my math. I am, I, I'm, yeah, I know. Uh, now in a position to do that. Okay. I, I got the same, yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm impressed. <laughs> As I said, it's been a day. Okay. Well, I don't have, I didn't have my calculator on it anyways, but uh, it's fine. I'll take the word. <laughs> so I move that. We make the salary for that position seven nine five four two. I'll second it. To have a motion made and seconded to make that adjustment. Any other discussion? If not, I'll put it for a roll call vote. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Betty? Aye. Tom, aye, and myself, I'll abstain. Motion carries. That takes care of all the adjustments, which brings us to the next topic in regards to discussion of the cost of living adjustment. Brian, do you want to go over your data that you have to start with? Um. Yeah, I can share the screen on on I just pulled the the CPI stuff and social security stuff. Of course, I give me one second.
That's not it. There you right. go. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. Um, this is CPI. Um, this is for so the the last column here is 12 months ended um January 2023. So this is a comparison to um the numbers from uh January 2022. Um Northeast region. So you, you can read them here. Northeast region is 6.0. Um, New England division is 5.9. No, uh, I'm sorry. New England division is 5.5. Um, and the only other closest one that we have is Mass, New Hampshire, Boston, Cambridge, New England at 6.4. Um, new numbers will be coming out for February on March 14th. Um, and it, in terms of getting recommendations to the finance committee and select board, we're looking, um, they will kind of take action, um, April 4th. So there would be time if we wanted to wait, um, for the February numbers to come out. Um, let's see what else, what, else, what other one do I have here? Um, this is just a chart bureau of labor statistics this is showing um this is showing from 21 um so january so you notice it hasn't really come down um so it's it's been cumulative since um since 21. um this was what was last year 6.1 i think and then this year i think is well, whatever we just said it was five five point five. Um so it's definitely not eased up as we sort of hoped it would, you know, over that 12 month period. Or I should say over the over the 24 month period. Brian, um, just for, Brian, just for instance, so I can get a clarification, like January at 105.65. Does that mean it's a 5.65 percent increase? Um Way so over that's, like Mm. Isn't that compared oh. to whenever this was a hundred? I yeah, I think so. Oh, all right. Yeah. So it's so gone it's, up. Go ahead. December of seven twenty seventeen was at one hundred, and so it's basically. Does that mean from twenty seventeen to twenty twenty one? It's can't be 105%. What does, hmm. I'm not following. Yeah, I don't follow that either. But. No, these are, they're raw numbers. So if you wanted to get the, the change from, from January, 2023 to, to January, 2021, if you wanted to get the percent change. Yeah, that's just, that's sort of what I'm, that look at this chart and have it in percentage comparisons to the last one we had, which is looking at percentage comparisons. Right. So the the percent change from from January twenty twenty one to January twenty twenty three is twelve point two seven percent. Okay. Hmm? What? Now I feel, okay. Hmm? So basically like 6% a year. And that's, and that's what, yeah, that's what the numbers. Okay. Hmm. The um, other piece of information you gave us was the 
cost of living adjustments from Social Security. Yep, and that was 8.7% for 22. I just, 20. yeah, it was 8.7, yep. But being someone that is on Social Security, if you add, you take the average from 2015 to 2022, it's 2.575. Well, yeah, if you yeah, average in a bunch of numbers, <laughs> yeah, that doesn't really help us make a decision. I mean, one of the, I mean, one of our problems of with our keeping our good employees is that they can go elsewhere and get. A higher pay in many cases. So if we can do our best to keep up with inflation, which is pretty well documented, that's at least a mo that's a move in the right direction. It may not keep prevent everyone from going to find a higher paying job, but I think everybody will appreciate it and then increases chances of you know people who we you know, put, you know, time and time and I guess time and money into for training people who know our town well now and um, are doing great work. So I'm inclined to be as generous as possible on a COLA, especially given last year we only did 3% and it was at least 6% that was what people deserved get based on how much inflation there was so that's that's my my first thoughts i agree with that i think you know if we look at the social security numbers for the past two years so when we based 2022 off of the 2021 we gave three percent and social security gave close to six percent um, so for 2023, I don't want to put people even deeper in the hole. I would like to get them out kind of up to market. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that we give yeah. them 11 percent or something, the, you know, the cumulative, but I think we have you to got them up to market by giving them an increase in pay already. But that's to this year's. Last right, year. that's that's this year's oh. salaries. Those are going to go up by a cost of living for next year, right? So I I think getting someone up to like the the we're comparing to other salaries that are for this year. It's not what those employees in all those other towns are going to make next year because they will have some other kind of increase, a cola up in presumably in most cases. Right, and we're not raising every position by any means. No, and we're out. that's right. And we can recommend and make the finance right. and them can review. So, yeah. So one comment that I'd like to you know make in regards to as we look at the Social Security stuff, the numbers from Social Security, we've had years where the personnel committee has made a recommendation that is more than what Social Security has had. And the finance committee has said in those years, and they've looked at that number and they've used that social security number and brought the COLA down based on what the personnel committee recommended. Well, now, if you want to use that same information, they should be using the finance committee should be saying, okay, it's 8%, 8.7% this year. That's what we are going to recommend if they're going to use the same criteria as they have used in the past. I understand that's a huge increase, but that is how they've used those numbers against the personnel committee in the past. We've made a recommendation. They've said Social Security isn't doing that much. We're not going to recommend it. Now, in the last two years, 
obviously Social Security realizes that the cost of living has gone up tremendously. And what a lot of people realize, don't maybe realize is the COLA, in my mind, is not really giving anybody a raise. It's trying to keep you at where you were. Right. And that's what a COLA is designed to do, is to keep you whole in the aspect of you not going backwards. And I think maybe strategically we made a mistake last year by looking at the huge number and saying, oh, the finance committee is not going to go for that. Let's suggest something lower when it's really not our job to suggest something lower. It's our job to suggest what, what we think our employees deserve. And I think the what Social Security is giving is completely defensible. So, um, well, the other thing also in regards to last year, um, near the end of the budget season, you know, the the makeup of the personnel committee was questioned by the finance committee, and the aspect that, as we all or I know that the personnel committee was established by town meeting in 1991, and it was spelled out what the responsibilities of the personnel committee were. And that is what the personnel committee has carried out every year forward. And so in that aspect, the personnel committee is doing their job as town meeting has asked. Yep. And then even, uh, I think that um, what was passed at town meeting actually specifies who yeah, certain members of the, the personnel committee have to be from the select board, from the finance committee, a town employee. Maybe I'm missing one. Um, and then uh, other, like two or three other slots for people from the community. So I, I, I don't, I think the whatever criticism we received was from maybe from somebody who didn't understand that that was the history. Um, and that, you know, if they really think it should be changed, then they should, you know, try and get a bylaw changed. And I think that, you know, and, and I'm not saying I wouldn't change a bylaw. I'd certainly consider it, but that's what it would take. It can't just be, you know, some somebody says nobody else does it this way. Yeah. Anyhow. I may be wrong. But I believe it says a member from the select board, a member from the finance committee, a town employee, and two citizens from the town. Two citizens. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Two citizens, which we have. The, mm -hmm. the problem is, and this is small town politics, there's only one person on the personnel board who does not have a, <clears throat> so a dog, so to speak, in the fight over all this pay business, who gets what, and the colas, and all that. I have a dog in the fight. Joyce has a dog in the fight. Keith does, and so does Sue. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Your husband. That that I am an individual who votes you know, my own mind. I do not talk to him about what we're discussing. I do not you know, vote with that as a consideration. I am you know, an individual thinker in, in this yeah. regard. And can you, can you say what you mean by I have a dog in this fight? Well, you're, you're, you get paid to be a, on the board of selectmen. If there's a COLA increase, you get an increase. I'm a constable in town. If there's a COLA, I get an increase. Well. Yes, no. That's that's true. But I'm not, you know, looking at those constable and selectman rates, we're still I making agree. the minimum wage. <laughs> but <laughs> so the it, general I, public is looking at it as though we're, uh, doing these things to uh, give ourselves pay increases, and the, oh. but that's, I you know, it's a rec I, it's a recommendation. I, 
That's and right. Yeah. I, that's true. It's that's a true. recommendation, and I Wait, just I can't mean... believe anybody would think <laughs> that um, what we pay our yeah. constables, you don't know a lot what we pay our people. selectmen, is anywhere near a wage of any sort. So that's you know, and we can we could work it out as hourly, but it's that's negligible. It has no effect on my thinking at all because I'm really, I mean, to me, the big issue is can we keep our employees whom we have invested? I mean, what, when our town is running well, it's because we have really good employees. Our town's been running well for quite some time. And, and it's on the shoulders of, of the people that we, that we hire who, who are dedicated, even though we don't probably pay them as much as they could get in private industry. That is, to me, the number one thing our personnel committee ought to be looking out for. And if if, if somebody really thinks, I mean, really, <laughs> that, oh. that that I I I think that there's like a little teeny tiny plastic squishy dog in the fight. If that's a, if that's a dog in the fight, it's not going to win. But, you know, again, going back to the mission of the personnel committee, as spelled out by town meeting, it's to look at the information to make a, and we're making, I'll call it an educating decision in the aspect that we have data in front of us. We're not arbitrarily coming up with this information that's in front of us to make a decision. So it's de it's defendable in the aspect that it's in black and white. We're not arbitrarily just throwing high numbers every year to, to the general public. Yeah, I would feel, I mean, it would depend on, on what someone proposed as a bylaw change. But if they were to propose a bylaw change that you pick five people who are completely ignorant of how town government works and put them in charge of making salary recommendations, I think that's a recipe for disaster. I think I think we're doing okay. But I understand what Tom was saying because I was listening to one of the meetings and they were discussing us. So but we do it as a recommendation. They can refuse to. Oh, I understand. Which, you know, that, to that meeting, I mean, what they were talking about, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, it's, I'm the I finance no, committee I, representative right, for the I have personnel, no dogs and, I, fire, and I could care less, in all yeah, honesty. You know, we're trying to do our best. Yep. Like George says, we want our um, people to be yep. equitable. Okay. Silence. This okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we get no, we're all money. still sucking it in. <laughs> yeah, we get, yes, we get paid huge money to get people homeless and cost of living raises. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, what's the the decision or the choice of our committee? I don't think the 8.7 is going to go anywhere if we were to look at the Social Security number uh, next month. Um, no. Yeah. And the, uh, if we're looking at the, um, yeah, the Consumer Price Index one, um, that's, you know, kind of looking up and down that column there. Um, we're at about six, right? There's a couple below but, um, and, and a few above, but we're really kind of right about six in the Northeast region. And 8.7 and six are kind of, they're both kind of high numbers, but I think either one is defensible. Um, could we... Could we take the average of those two high numbers and say, 
you know, there's merit to both of those. And we'd like to recommend something in that range. I mean, I'll throw that out and maybe people can argue about whether that's a good approach. Are you doing the math on that, Joyce? Are you coming up with a number or are you just? Oh, I, w I, I was just doing some mental math to get uh, an average of about six. So uh, let me, yeah, let me open up a, I'm going to open up a spreadsheet here and uh, have my spreadsheet do the work for me. Uh, let's see. Oh, dang it. Um, okay, so take that. I got to make, I got to reduce Brian's window taking over my screen here. Come on, how do I, oh, there's the view option. Oh. Seven Yeah. So in fact, the average of that whole column of numbers we see under the January 2023 is 6.05. And then if we use 8.7. Oh, okay. So you took all of the average of uh, Yeah. And, and it, it came out to, I was pretty darn close when I said it was 6.0. Um, so if I take the average of those two, I get 7.375. So we're yeah, call it 7.4. Taking out the high and the low. Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> yeah. That one, high and the low. Yeah, then it goes to 6.1. And the uh, uh, the average of 6.1 and 8.7 is 7.4. I like it because it has fewer digits. So I guess that would be, that would be the, that's just, I'm putting that out there as a possible number to consider. So what's the final number you had? 7.4? Uh, 7.4. And I would argue instead of taking the average of all the social securities, if I'm sorry, of all of the, because uh -huh. um, the CPIs, CPIs, if we just took New England. Yeah, that would be that brings the us five, to set and average five point five. Yeah, that brings yeah, us to so. seven point one. Um, yes, that's what I get too. Um, not not I think a that huge is also difference. Defensible. But if just um, trying to figure what yeah what what people won't argue with our methodology on. Yeah. Well, that New England obviously encompasses more of a rural area versus the other ones that are going to be cities, some of the other mm -hmm. numbers. Right. Yeah. So kind of when they say Northeast region, Northeast region where it says uh, 6%, uh, that does that also include a lot of Rural, or does that include cities as well? It it does. It includes more states like um, like New York, Virginia. 
Yeah, inquisitive mid Atlantic region. Yeah. Well, then I I would be fine with sticking with the New England number, then. And that, uh, I mean, we sort of we have two uh, two num two numbers here that we feel are both representative of of what our employees are feeling in terms of inflation. And in the absence of, of any indication that one is a lot more important than the other, then it seems reasonable to recommend the average and give the range 5.5 to 8.7. But that is what we recommend and the uh, average being 7.1 would not be unreasonable at all. Someone want to make a motion? Oh. Or are people still thinking about it? I'm happy to make the motion. I'm trying to think how to word it. Joyce, why don't you make the motion? Uh, I move that we recommend a 7.1% COLA. Keep Second. it simple. Second. Okay. I was overthinking it. <laughs> okay, I have a motion made and seconded. Any other discussion? Hearing none, we'll do a roll call vote. Susan? Aye. Joyce? Aye. Betty? Aye. Tom? No. And myself? Aye. So passes four to one. Uh, Any other on? Anticipated items. Brian, do you have anything? Um, I don't. Um, in terms of the hiring, in terms of the hiring process for the treasure collector and the the fire chief, we expect those to, you know, take place within the next couple of weeks, hopefully. So, if there's changes, it would be good if if we could sort of have in the back of our minds that we might have another personnel committee meeting. Um as well as at some point we're going to start with the the personnel bylaws as well those revisions too so um hopefully people have the interest and the stamina to <laughs> stay with it through the through those things and um and roughly what's the timeline for that would this be a meeting probably late in march or do you think it might be earlier than that um so if we're going to have any recommendations go to for the treasure collector and fire chief go to town meeting we would want a meeting in later sometime in march pretty much we would want because tentatively we have the select board and finance committee um, voting on personnel recommendations on on the meeting on april 4th should we get out our calendars and set a, a tentative date I think that might be helpful just to have something in case we need it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it could really be any time in March, I suppose. Uh, well, but but the timeline have... on the hiring, what does that look like? Would it be better to do it later then? Uh, yeah, it should be in, yeah, middle or later middle or later in the month okay tuesdays will still be finance select board yeah um yeah how about the 20th of march monday no no it's not good for me. okay wednesday the 22nd wednesday and thursday are both open for me that week I can't do Thursday because I teach, but I could do Wednesday. Wednesday, I could do the 22nd. 
That work for you, Betty? Yeah, that's fine. Twenty second and Tommy, twenty second Wednesday is okay. Yeah. Nine. Okay. Same and do we want to do the do six thirty again? Oh, I, I can make six that day if people like six better, but I thought six thirty is also fine. Yeah. Zoom or open. So, so six o'clock work better then? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um Brian, you had nothing more, right? <clears throat> nope. Okay, then hearing that we have our meeting scheduled for the next, that's it for the agenda. We have a motion to adjourn. Make a motion, we adjourn. Second. Second. Motion made and second. Do a roll, any other discussion? I'm sure not. So <laughs> roll, roll call vote, Susan. Aye. Joyce. Aye. Betty. Aye. Tom. Aye. And myself, aye.